Hi, I'm Katherine Alexander, owner of Quick Video Productions, and I'm here to talk about you and your business. Um, please download the workbook. It's available for you online at the website, quickvideoproductions.com forward slash Facebook hyphen live. You'll see two workbooks available now. Um, you can do last month's workbook if you'd like. <clears throat> and you can also download the workbook for this month. So this month we're talking about thinking about your business in a broader framework and what the business has to teach you as an individual. Business is actually one of the best paths to personal growth that I know of. So I see business as a very spiritual venture because nothing is going to teach you about you like your business unless it's your marriage. That's the other thing. Or your children. <laughs> Those three things, I think, are the greatest teachers that we have in our life. It's all about relationships, really. And business is very much, first and foremost, about your relationship with you. So it's the heart of the matter. Um, you have to be really clear you're in business. Now, for some of you, this is really, really hard. Um, you like what you do. You're having fun at it. But the business piece, not so much. Um, so, this is about helping you really get comfortable with the fact that you are actually in business. If you're not, you can very easily self-sabotage. It doesn't even look like sabotage. Things just happen that make it impossible to do that. And that's okay. You can do that with your life. It's fine. But if you want to feel more satisfied with your venture, then being clear about why you're doing it is really helpful. You can have your business as a hobby. That is great. It's a wonderful way to spend time. You'll certainly learn a lot. It's not a business. So it doesn't need to make money. <laughs> It just needs to be enjoyable for you. And so that's okay. No problem here. But if you do really want to make money, if you're really looking at your business to provide an income of some kind for you, then you need to think about it as business, <laughs> as uncomfortable as that might be. So some questions. And this is where the workbook is helpful if you want to download it. Are you having fun? Do you love what you do? What parts of the business do you really not like? And we all have some, trust me. There is so much that a business requires that there are some parts of it that you're not gonna like, that you're not gonna be good at, that you don't wanna do. So there's nothing wrong with that. You just have to recognize what those are and then deal with them in another way so it doesn't impact you and it doesn't make you hate what you're doing. Um, so if you couldn't do this business, what would you do? If you didn't spend time doing whatever it is, your healing, your craft, um, your ministry, whatever it is that you do, if you didn't do that, what else would you do? Okay? Um, and if you get excited about the what else, then this is a hobby. That's good to know. Do you trust yourself? How do you know you trust yourself? Business is all about decisions and there are lots of decisions and some of those decisions are shall I say <laughs> difficult um, tension-filled um, conflicting uh, I think some of the hardest ethical decisions we make are between rights and rights frankly. Um, so it's not always a clear right and wrong thing. It could be uh, this right or that right. And how do you make that choice? So you have to trust yourself to be able to make those decisions and really move forward. Um, and there's tools like a business plan to help you with some of this. But the day-to-day -day stuff, there's really no help but you. And so you need to be clear about you your business and the kind of business you want to have. And we'll talk about that later this month. Um, can your business succeed at the level of commitment that you're exhibiting right now? 
or do you have to up that level? Um, that's an interesting question because if you need to up the level, then the question is what's stopping you? And that's what we've been dealing with in the last couple of months, this month and last month, are the things that prevent you from really committing to your business the way you want to. Um, and if it's really not a business, it's a hobby, then you're going to feel that tension. And you're not going to find the time. You're not really going to like it. Um, there's going to be lots of reasons why it just doesn't work right now. That's okay. I'm just suggesting that you give up that angst. <laughs> be clear. Move forward. Enjoy your life. It's too short to be frustrated. It's too short to just churn. So you'll want to be realistic about what you're doing and how you're spending your time. Um, create a budget. And a budget really is not just money. It's also time. Um, you have a choice. You can commit money or time or both. Okay, and sometimes you have to commit time until you can do money. That's okay. Um, but you have to make that commitment. <laughs> That's the key. Um, you really can't get around it. But you want to be realistic. Do you want to spend your time doing this? Do you want to spend the time doing the things that your business requires? Or is it much more fun to just play at the hobby? Okay, be clear. Plan backwards. If you decide that it is a business that you want, if you decide that you really want to make this work so that it's making enough money so that you can really do this full time and you can really immerse yourself in this, then my question to you is how much money do you need? Now let's be realistic. It's nice to think about $100,000 as an income. Do you really need that? I mean, it's nice to have, absolutely. Um, what do you need? What would make your life comfortable? What would make it possible for you to stop worrying? What would give you enough flow that you can do some fun things, that you can feel relaxed about your income? When you have that number, then look at what you're offering in exchange for the time you're giving for your product or for your service. What are you charging for those things? And then how many of those do you have to make happen in order to ch achieve the comfortable number for your income? Okay, that will give you a sense of what you need to do to grow your business. If that works for you, if it's like, can't do it, that's a whole other conversation. You want to talk to somebody if you feel you can't do it or it's too overwhelming and you still want to do it and you don't want it as a hobby, you really do want a business, but it just seems like so much, then you want to get help and support to help you walk through the blocks that you have to make that happen. That's fine. That's what this is all about. That's what life is for. You know, it's experimenting and experiencing, trying to get what we want and then figuring out how that happened or didn't happen. Um, these are fine things to do. It's a great way to spend your time. So don't be shy. Do call. You can talk with me. I would be delighted to talk with you. My phone number is 303-818-4147. I can walk with you a bit if you would like, but you need to find somebody if you're having problems actually making it work. So that's the point of all of this is to get you off your duff, moving forward and creating the business that's really gonna make a difference for you. Download the workbook, visit the website www.quickvideoproductions.com and if you want the workbook, it's www.quickvideoproductions.com forward slash Facebook hyphen live. See you next Friday.